Welcome to Glenbark East Athletics. We are excited to begin yet another year filled with the many challenges, victories, and successes that are sure to come. Whether you are a student, parent, or current athlete, being a part of the Glenbark East family is truly something special. So say it loud and say it proud. Go Red, Go Black, Go Rams! Before we begin tonight, I would like to introduce you to some familiar faces that you will run into when visiting the athletic office. On the left, that's Lynn Godfrey, athletic secretary by day, hockey grandmother by night. In her spare time away from the ice, Lynn oversees registration, eligibility, transportation, officials, and plenty more. And on the right, that's Jess Poulos. Jess is in charge of facilities, practice schedules, team calendars, seasonal programs, youth feeder liaison, and plenty more. If you ever find yourself in need of help of anything related to athletics, please feel free to stop by our office. These two wonderful ladies will greet you with a smile and maybe a high five if you're lucky. Our event coordinators, Bill Burt, Kevin Carlson, and Victor Swanson are also available to answer any questions you may have. So please, ask away. Now, let's meet our winter head coaches. Girls basketball, Don Finney. Cheer, Stephanie Bauer and Kelly Close. Boys basketball, Scott Miller. Girls gymnastics, Jessica Bugaiski. Wrestling, Kevin Carlson. Boys bowling and girls bowling, Chuck Nelson and Jerry Anderson. Also not pictured is our boys and girls swim co-op with Glenbard North. Head coach, Chris Delgado. For more information, please contact Matt Bowser at Glenbard North. Glenbard East High School is truly grateful for the commitment and dedication its coaching staff commits to our student athletes each and every day. For our coaching staff, there is no off season. Their efforts extend from the field of play and into our building and classrooms. So thank you coaches. Now on to the stars of the show, you. Whether a student or parent, Glenbard East Athletics offers many opportunities for you to get into the game or be involved. With 26 athletic programs and over 30 clubs and activities, Glenbard East is a land of opportunity. Each day, our student athletes benefit from a rich tradition of student involvement in our high school through athletics. Last year alone, Glenbardy student athletes made up 1,287 participants in athletics, 288 academic all-conference athletes, 85 DVC scholar student athletes, 32 all-conference athletes, 24 state qualifying athletes, two sectional championship teams, three all-state athletes, and one regional championship team. As you can see, our student athletes are very special individuals. We ask them to put in maximum effort, time, and dedication on the field of play, all while getting the job done in the classroom. Being a part of Glenbard East Athletics does come with responsibilities and high expectations for all student athletes. These expectations begin with our athletic code of conduct. Our athletic code of conduct is designed to encourage our student athletes to make positive choices, both in season and out. When students decide to meet this challenge by agreeing to the code of conduct, they are making the statement that positive decision making is a priority to them year round. That is why our athletic code is a full one year commitment of the athlete to make the right choices when faced with difficult and challenging situations. Have you thought it through? Our athletic code encourages positive behavior in the classroom and includes specific language on staying away from negative or harmful actions that involve tobacco, drugs, and alcohol. If a Glenbardy student athlete is found to have been involved with these types of situations 
as outlined in our athletic handbook, they could face game or competition suspensions or even a full season suspension from their current or next athletic season. Here's an example. Meet Susie Q. Susie is a senior at Glenbart East High School and is a member of the girls ice fishing team right here in good old Lombard, Illinois. Susie is a great student and spends most of her free time studying, doing household chores, and being a super person in general. One night, Susie gets a call from none other than her best friend John Doe. John tells Susie that she is missing the party of the century, calls her lame, and tells her to get over here right away. Ah, decisions, decisions. Susie doesn't normally go out. In fact, Susie's dog, Mr. Wiggles, gets out of the house more than she does. Faced with the dilemma, Susie decides, I should go out. What's the worst that could happen? John wouldn't steer me wrong. So, out of the house she goes, off to the party, hoping for a great time. When Susie arrives, she notices that there are several of her Glimbardi's classmates who are there, and some have beer cans, mixed drinks, or other alcohol-related beverages. Being responsible, Susie decides not to drink, but to stay and enjoy the party. Once the party dies down, Susie leaves and makes it home safely and turns in for the night. Is this considered a violation of the athletic code? Section J of your athletic code clearly states that as an athlete, you must not attend, host, plan, or otherwise participate in parties, gatherings, or ride in automobiles where the athlete or others are using or in possession of any illegal or controlled substances. Student athletes who violate the Athletic Code of Conduct under Sections I or J will receive the following consequences. First offense, full season. Second offense, one calendar year. Third offense, the student will be expelled from participation in athletics for the duration of their high school career. These consequences are serious and extremely harsh, but so are the dangers of substance abuse. Because Glenbard East is a PBIS high school, we want to encourage and teach students to make the right choice when they are faced with these difficult situations. Since education is always the priority, Glenbard East Athletics offers student assessment programs in conjunction with local mental and physical health institutions in our area. Through these programs, we offer opportunities for our student athletes to return to the field of play after successful completion. These programs offer support and education for both students and families through these types of difficult times. For additional information, please refer to your athletic handbook under the section titled Glenbard High School District 87 Athletic Code. Now, parents, I'm sure you're probably freaking out saying, when is my son or daughter going to find time for homework? Well, I'm here to tell you that juggling academics and athletics is not easy. It will take a lot of time and effort on both the student and parent's part. But remember, that little guy or gal of yours sitting next to you is special. With over 70 academic all-conference athletes each year, our students are getting the job done in the classroom and our coaches are there to help. The IHSA mandates that all students be enrolled in and passing five classes or 25 credit hours each week and at the end of each semester. If not, then the student is considered ineligible and will be withheld from competition that week. Weekly eligibility lists are run by the athletic office and given to coaches. Coaches then scan that list for students who might be having some challenges academically. 
New this year, the athletic department will be holding athletic study table Tuesday through Thursday after school in room 125 for ineligible athletes. Once the athlete is passing five classes, they can return to competition. Academics is always our number one focus, and Glenbard East Athletics is committed to supporting our student athletes both in the classroom and on the field. Also, another important focus of ours is your student athlete's health. Making sure that our athletes stay on or return to the field to play healthy is the job of our athletic training staff. Mr. Chris Murphy is our head athletic trainer and is assisted by Jessica Dunn and their student athletic training staff. Each day this group works extremely hard to make sure that our teams are provided with water, ice, physical therapy, taping, and other important needs. Chris Murphy's group is also in charge of our impact testing. Impact stands for immediate post-concussion assessment and cognitive tests. All that scientific jargon basically means that an impact test is a user-friendly online computer-based testing program specifically developed for the evaluation and management of sports-related concussions. Keeping our student-athletes safe is our number one priority. This test will be administered to all freshman athletes to ensure their safety on and off of the field. Training room hours are Monday through Saturday, 2 p.m. until the end of events. For additional information, Chris Murphy will be available after our presentation today or send an email to Christopher underscore Murphy at glenbart.org. Always working to improve parent communication, we've launched a few new options to better communicate with our athletic families. Now a quick, simple, and efficient method of paying the mandatory $130 athletic fee is available online to all registered parents. It's very easy. Just log on to your parent profile in PowerSchool, click on the tab with your student's name, look for an additional items, and select Fall, Winter, or Spring Athletic Pay. Add to the cart, then simply check out. This instructional flyer will also be available in your athletic parent packets on the way out tonight. Glenbard East has ushered in a new age of technological communication that will set the world on its ear. Well, that's a little bit dramatic, but we did make it super easy for parents to receive live updates, schedules, and other information via our new athletic website. It's called Athletics 2000, and it's a one-stop shop for all your athletic parent needs. It's very simple to access. Just log on to athletics2000.com forward slash Glenbard East. Another important feature of Athletics 2000 is the email alert system. Parents can sign up to get live updates on cancellations, games, and other announcements directly from the website to your personal email. Again, it's very simple. Just log on to athletics2000.com forward slash Glimbard East and click on email alerts. Then brace yourself for a new dawn in technology. One that will, uh, you get the picture. Throughout the season, parents and coaches will work together to do what's best for the student. This partnership is one that is built on trust. We are all on the same team, your son or daughters. Doing what's best for your student athlete is our number one priority and communicating with parents is just as important. Parents, if you have concerns or feedback, please feel free. We will always look to improve through your feedback. It is important to understand what the right conversations are as an athletic parent. Strategy, practice philosophy, uniforms, and playing time are all topics that require trust from you as a parent that we and will always do what's best for your student. These are matters for trust and not conversations. Your feedback is always welcome and I encourage all parents 
to communicate with their position level coaches. We are all pulling on the same rope and we will continue to do what's best for your student athlete. Parents, want to know how to get involved? Well, there are plenty of opportunities for our parents, and here to talk to you tonight is our Athletic Booster Club President, Mrs. Georgie Ludwig.
parents, players, coaches, and fans, welcome to another exciting year. We hope that this year and every year will be a great year for you and the Glenbard East family. Remember, it takes a collective effort of each and every individual in this room to make Glenbardi's the special place that it is. Good luck to all, and remember, each and every day is a great day to be around.